Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In a previous video I did a 350 US dollar custom loop. It was a challenge, but easy enough where I lived to source the parts at a very reasonable price. This got me thinking I should try to make an even cheaper custom loop and set the bar higher at $250. I really didn't think the parts would show up on my doorsteps as fast as they did, but luckily my friend Mel, who is always hunting parts, came across this insane bundle deal for $200 with literally everything that you see here. Parts like the motherboard are currently inside, and I will show those to you in a moment, but just to go over what the purpose of this computer is, it's basically just gonna be a Netflix and light gaming machine for his room. Some of the parts like the fittings in the other build I did, I had to supply myself, and those cost a lot of money. In this situation, we have literally every part we need except for the tubing. So I was able to find some really reasonable tubes on Amazon for $16, and yeah, so we're gonna throw this together in this video and this is gonna be a $200 custom loop. So I plan to discuss most of the weird things I'm doing with this PC in the intro, but just in case I missed something, let's go over the specs of the motherboard and processor. So we are gonna be using this decade old Z77 Extreme 6 with an i7 3770K, a GTX 980, and all these random parts. He got these pretty dope gold fittings from Bits Power for free. And I found these like dollar tubes on Amazon that actually fit. So we're gonna do the Bits Power fittings and we're gonna do like a gold theme with this foil. There's gonna be a lot of things wrong with this PC. I don't even know where to start. Simple things like the IO shield, I don't think I have. I can, I can possibly find one that might fit. Um, everything in this case is pretty rough. So it's not going to be pretty, it's just going to be this silly $200 custom loop, and let's start it now. Not a single one of these IO shields fit. Yay. I just realized I still need to do two bends for the top going to the radiator. So, I don't know, these walls are really thin. Let's see if I can try to bend one. So cheap craft tubes are not good for bending. Look at how bad that looks. So what I'm gonna have to do is not use that. It takes too long and the walls are too thin, but I can use them for the straight lines and then I'll just use some different tubing here to go up to the top. You know when you guys are doing something wrong and it just feels terrible? That's what this feels like right now. These tubes are like craft tubes. They're really not meant for this and in the spirit of trying to make this the cheapest possible loop, I'm trying to do it, but this is not a tutorial in any way, shape or form. I wouldn't be surprised if this does leak or something goes wrong. All right, this next one's gonna be a little complicated. Man, do these tubes suck, they're so bad, but gotta make do. So I need to use two of these and I'm gonna run out here and go up and over. It's gonna look really weird, but hey, gotta do what you gotta do. Look at all those shavings. All right, this is the second little assembly of bend. It's not a bend, it's a uh, just a tube, a tube to a fitting. Um, it's not straight, 
So I need to remove some off the bottom there and level it out. Sorry I'm not filming a lot of this, it's kind of hard to do. The ugly sticks of ram are only in there to <clears throat> make sure there's clearance. see did I shave too much off this time it's a tricky game with these double fitting things like this I want to make sure it gets all the way in it looks pretty good I'd say it's pretty good this time Wow look at that the cheapest crappiest board in the world with all the gold can't save itself. Here's how it looks from the other side. Looks pretty good. We're gonna take a break from the tube situation and we're gonna wrap this radiator in the gold. Here's the gaudy radiator with the orange peel effect going on. And so we're gonna run this last tube and then I'm gonna stop for the night and come back to it in the morning. All right guys, so I'm harnessing the power of the beautiful sun and I wanted to go over this loop and it kind of explain what exactly is going on because it might be a little bit confusing at face value. Also my cat, again, has stolen my chair. So, uh, well, that's what it is, I guess. All right, so if you look at this loop, it doesn't connect. And I realize it might be a little bit confusing, so I felt like I should explain my thoughts. So what I wanna do is run another tube up here and go over to the radiator where the fitting will be here. A soft tube coming off the back around to here. And then this will actually connect to here. So the CPU will actually be the last part that gets cooled. Right, in the spirit of making this the cheapest possible custom loop, I have to use these that are too long. I have no other screws and I'm not about to drive to the store. So I'm gonna use these nuts as little washers. I know it's super ghetto, but just remember, $200. All right, so I tried this Corsair tube and uh, I thought it being thinner would be better to kind of hide it, but it turns out it's just like way too thin. So when you go to bend it, it just kinks, just like the cheap tubing I have. So I went with a thicker um, EK tube, which looks a lot better. I'm just gonna make sure it doesn't kink and it should kind of hide pretty well. All right, so I stole the 90 off of here and moved it up there just because the uh, it was too tight it was kinking so now that's pretty much how it looks now i want to do this one but i want to do it in a lazy fashion so i'm going to use these primo chill fittings and i'm going to make a kind of weird uh, 90 and then go up to the top there All right, this is definitely one of the laziest things I've done with the tube, but it's gonna have to do because uh, I'm running out of parts. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna try is to do a soft tube from here. And actually I'm gonna use this back port that might be hard to see, but it's right there. Let's see if I can do it. All right, let's do this. Time to fill it up. So now it's time to get all these massive air bubbles out and that's going to take a little bit but it is a complete loop. I have this uh, Primo Chill Pink so we're going to put that in there and see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. 
one of the best parts about doing custom loops and adding color is watching the color fill all the tubes. I think that looks pretty insane. I notice uh, I still need to do some bleeding here. There's only a little bit of liquid coming down through. Now I'm using some plexiglass to cut a little basement piece down at the bottom. I'm going to wrap it in the gold to make it look extra dumb. Okay, we got the basement in. It's not perfect, but looks kind of cool. Um, I didn't want to waste money on more fans on the bottom. Again, this is the $200 custom loop. And uh, we got it to post, which is good. 16 gigs of RAM, so both DIMMs are showing up. 3770K, and that's it. That's all he needs for a Netflix machine. So uh, yeah, let's check out some B-roll. So shortly after I finished all that b-roll I kind of found some things to make this look better so I just wanted to add them in before you know cutting to the end of this so I took this EVGA uh, Z170 board that I had up here and it's bad so I put this cover on and it actually lined up with the holes pretty perfectly secondly I added another RGB strip here and then to kind of match this basement, I put some gold on the back. So now you have a gold plate and also a uh, reinforcement bracket or a GPU bracket, anti-sag bracket, whatever you want to call it. So now this is the complete look. He still has to hook up the RGB, but this is the finished product. All right, guys, let's talk about the PC. So the PC is sort of finished it's missing a few major things um, it needs the 5 volt connector for the fans and for the pump res combo I did not install those I didn't want to spend any more money on this and I don't have any spares laying around so I left it like this I'll let my uh, friend Mel fix it Mel if you're watching this this is a very goofy PC and at that I want to tell everyone don't do this <laughs> This is not a uh, realistic thing at all. I'm only doing it to make content for you guys. Um, I just thought it would be fun. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of things like the fittings, for an example, that are worth quite a bit of money in here. And you don't wanna go out and spend a ton of money on an old platform just to custom water cool it, unless you got them for like super cheap or free. Um, Mel specifically, my parts vendor and friend, he got all this stuff for like under $200. The only thing I bought were new tubes, um, not the bent ones, but these straight line tubes, and those were $16. So the total of this whole build costs around $216. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment if you hate it. I don't know, it's not, it's not super pretty or anything. It's a little wacky, but um, it's a custom loop. And it's a Netflix machine, I guess. Anyways, till next time. Peace out. Bye.